All right, what's poppin'? I'm fucking two seconds out of that last video that I just recorded, so go watch that if you wanted to see those games. A uh, little bit of commentary. Uh, we do see HGC versus... I'm gonna pause. I don't know who this is. <laughs> Hold on one sec. Okay, this is Duck. Duck Suck versus uh, HGC. Um, I saw like a screenshot. I think it was something HGC. Had, like I think it was I think it was Chien Pao with just like a gajillion kills. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure it had like a gajillion last season. I'm not sure, uh, but uh, it looks to have a gajillion in this game too. Your your resist is um, is uh, I guess Klefki. Good luck. Uh, don't know the Sarah Captains yet again. I'm not gonna look until the game starts, but I'll remember this time. That's probably uh, it is Reggie Lucky. There's no way you bring Reggie Lucky as first mods in slot with without Terra, dude. I'm just Terra electric in this fucking matchup, dude. Just let me blow a hole through every mod. Um, he probably has a ground type, so he didn't want to. Uh, he's probably fight. Yeah, HGC probably had a good ground type, uh, but he didn't even bring it, so it could just be Terra ground on like what Duck maybe, maybe maybe Zapdos. I don't really know what the Terra is. Uh, but yeah, Reggie Lucky looks really fucking good. Uh, I I know HGC more, so I'm gonna watch from his side. Actually, I can't support Chi and Pao. No, but I don't want to see it. I don't know. We'll watch the side. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, obviously, Chi and Pao is gonna cook like a billion guys every matchup, no matter what. So we don't really have to go too much into that. Uh, Dark Knight looks pretty good though. I mean, it is double fairy, right? It it's double fairy, but uh, honestly, just cooking like I think it's flamethrower. I think clicking flamethrower like the entire game looks good. Just being really strong clicking that move probably cooks up most of this team. And then once Weezen gets more chipped, you can sludge it down. Uh, so, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm expecting the Chi and Pao to win, but it, that, that's every matchup. So, um, I can't even I can't even lie. There's a Lilligan on my screen and a Chi and Pao on the same screen. So, like, I don't know what's going on. Uh, but I guess we'll see. Um, I think HGC's team just looks insane. Like, he, it looks like he drafted by himself on this from these six. So, I don't know, man. But uh, let's check it out. Uh, okay, hold on. Terra's. Wait, hold on. Let's actually get the leads in. Okay, so it's Metagross versus uh, Reggie Lucky. Uh, it's Terra Ice on Reggie Lucky. And then Dark Electric Water Normal Poison. Oh, okay, so it's Terra Darkrai. It's Terra Poison Darkrai, which makes a lot of sense. Um, I don't know how fast you, you are to click Terra in front of the Klefki. Because, like, either A, you resist its, um, its player of, or B, you... Uh, are immune to its prankster so it's really it's it's, it's gonna come down to a big 50 50 of klefki is the initial uh switching so i don't know what, how it's gonna go uh but as we know there's no electric resist immunity anything i'm just clicking bolt as reggie lucky metagross is fucked on bulk so it's probably just gonna chill it's gonna get rocks up and i would ex assume that Shiyu comes in uh but maybe don't go maybe you just go to safer uh, lando lando safer because you don't just you know, eat shit to random moves. So, let's see. Yep, there's the Volt. 36, good enough bulk. There's the Lando. Clear body's gonna trigger, though, and it's probably gonna be rocks up. Very nice. Okay. Uh, Metagross, I mean, you just go with Zapdos, right? You don't want to get knocked on your duck yet, so you probably just go Zapdos. Or you could even go Feeny if you, like, have some big old cojones on, like, a, on a rocks, but I think you should go Zapdos. Uh, Zapdos is probably fine. Uh, we go for... Actually, we're just gonna eat a knock and maybe go... F oh. I understand. Uh, I I now understand. Doesn't wait? Does earthquake knock? No, there's no way earthquake does twenty one percent more, right? Damn, that knock is. Whew, sheesh. All right. Just because I don't know Calx, man. Uh, Metagross. Uh, give me a real lander set. Sorry. Uh, defensive. Sure. Wait, that's when I just clicked. So much. <laughs> wait, hold on. Scarf. There it is. Earthquake. Okay. Earthquake and knockoff. I just want to see the difference in damage. Wow. That's a big old fucking difference. Holy shit. Yeah, you should always... Don't you just... I mean, I guess I guess you don't, like, fall behind really early, right? You're not expecting this to be policy ice punch or whatever, or agility right now. Uh, let's just see if it's agility or if it's ice punching. It's just ice punching. Okay, yeah, that thing... That just killed, like, 13 Landos. It wasn't helmet. We just see Reggie like he come back in. Dude, honestly, at this point, with Metagross, I'm just looking bullet punch. I am literally just going to bullet punch this guy for some fucking chip. See if he stays in and spins. Uh, because, like, Metagross has limited, like, use left, right? Metagross, I mean, it beats Lilligan, but um, I want you to name any of these mons that don't beat Lilligan. Ignore the Feeny. Uh, it, it's okay versus Klefki. Like, it's nice to get a bullet punch. It's good versus Weezing for, another, you know, just a, a solid hit. But, like, when are you coming in? You know? 
So I'd probably just bullet punch this guy. Plus two on Reggie Lucky is probably like hitting hard, right? Look, look at me calcing things like, as if he might not just click it right now. Hold on. Bullet punch. Because we know we died a bolt. Uh, if we're at plus two attack and say it's zero attack, I mean, it still does 30. That's really good damage. Yeah, I'm bullet punching here. Yeah, look at that. 34, yeah. Uh, and we see the bolt switch. Yep, pretty pretty normal. Um, You probably just go like... Because like you want to go something that doesn't just invite in Dark Rai or Qian Pao, which is like you need like three mons to do that. Uh, and those are all, and I don't think any combination of these three stop it. So, like, maybe you go, like, I don't know, because, like, she used Wall by Feeny all day. Hmm. So, you probably go Klefki and look for, like, a, um, like, hazards to go up, or you go Weezing and look to just, uh, Defog. In my mind. Yeah, so it's Klefki. Uh, Klefki just, I would just go, uh, no, I would just go Feeny, right? It doesn't get uh, T-waved or anything, and water is unresisted at the moment. Probably should go Feeny. You could go Duck. Uh, we go Zap doesn't set. Oh, yeah, I can't get T-waved either. And Thunder Wave's really good, too. Just getting the hazards, like I said. Just charge. If we get a pair out, yeah, it's kind of just Jover with. This mod getting parried is so tough. Uh, Reggie Lucky back in. I would almost just go Reggie Lucky every single time. Also, it's Boots. It's Boots Lucky. I would almost all... Oh, no, I just did the thing. Hold on. I would literally... Fuck. On this turn where you got a spike up, unless a spike is, like, gonna save your game, I think you have to go Reggie Lucky and save HP on Klefki, right? I don't know. Discharge is just way too free. You really need to go Reggie Lucky there. Even if you get you turned on into, like, another guy, I feel like it's still better because you'll outspeed and bolt switch out. But, uh, yeah, I mean, now you just go Reggie Lucky and you've taken damage on every guy. Oh, now you got crit. Oh, no. I mean, luckily it's boots. Just, uh, we saw it's gonna volt out, but volting out makes the most sense anyways. And then, like, wow, that did 48. What the hell? That's not even specs. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, I mean, just get on out of there. You go Weezing, I guess. Ah, but, like, Weezing's gonna take, like, fucking 40 from this. 57. Oh, my God, the Zapdos is having... It's, it's putting on a clinic, dude. Everything's dying. We go for a Roost because we can get sludged. No, we get defogged. Ah, dude, see, like, if you were planning on doing that, then why don't we get spikes up, right? I don't know if I'm on crack cocaine, but I very well could be. So we got a spike up, so we got, we, so we took 21 Parod to get up a spike just to go into the guy that should have switched in first, into getting, like, defogging that one spike away, right? I don't know. I mean, assuming that the crit happens on the same turn, the Reggie Lucky would be at so much more HP and this would have got crit, which is, like, fine, right? I don't know, because, like, yeah, it's just going to die either way. Uh... And, what, do you go Chi Yu? Like, you can't go, we can't go Reggie Lucky, we know that. Unless we're going Reggie to Volt, but we just saw that the Zap has Roost. So, like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah you just go Chi Yu, and then you just, you have to double, you have to double Lucky here. You have to double Lucky, but if I'm HGC, I'm letting Zapdos go down to cover that play, and just killing the Reggie Lucky. Because, like, if you do let Zabdos go down, like, even... Dude, it's not even, like, it's it's a guaranteed kill. Like, it's gonna it have to click overheat or be specs, right? There's the only way that Chi-Yu that Chi kills. Let's see, a Scarf set into a Zabdos. Yeah, dude, you have to... You literally have... Hold on. You have to click overheat and better get the roll, you know? Unless this thing's, like, less bulky, which it could be because it was doing so much damage. But, like... Okay, even if it's not bulky, right? We take out all the bulk. You have, you still have to either click uh, overheat or fire blast. Uh, as modest, actually, that has to be modest. So if it's timid, you have to click overheat. So like, after they overheat, you just get a free feeny anyways, and you still go and claim your kill. Or if you, they, and if they double, you kill the Reggie Lucky. So like I feel like I'm I feel like I'm always staying in here as Zapdos. I'm just gonna let the, the Zapdos go down. Like it's good, but like you don't need it for Klefki. You don't need it for Lilligant. Like you should be fine either way. Okay, so we we dub, we go out into our Porygon to our spit up. That's funny. Lowering its spit up is really funny. And it's nasty. Oh shit. I still think my play wins, right? I I, I think my still my play still wins. You you just get in there. You click discharge for thirty five. You get your 35 off, then you go into this and sack it off. And then, once it's at 35, Feeny should kill. I think, right? Oh, we see Taunt. That's tough. Yeah, see, now now we're in a weird position, but... 
I just want to make sure this says it right. This says Beads of Ruin, right? So, like, the Beads of Ruin weaken the spin of all surrounding Pokemon, right? All And she is a surrounding Pokemon. Why did that do fucking 26? That did no damage. What the fuck? This thing's AV and Nasty Pot and Taunt. That's crazy. That just did no damage. Just go for another Nasty. I mean, yeah, we're just going to keep clicking Dry Attack, right? Because, like, inevitably it's going to be in range of Chi and Pao. It's a rest! No way, dude. Holy shit. Wait. Feeny is a water and a fairy type, right? So, whether you choose your dark or your fire, aren't you always wall? Like, as long as this thing's shipped down, right? It's overheat. Oh, and Porygon lives. It's... Oh, my God. So, so now it's only plus two. Overheat again. No, it's... Oh, now it's neutral. No! Okay, yeah. HEC should just kill everything with Chi and Pao now. Yes. Secret Sword's gonna kill this... Uh, Shard's gonna kill, or Shard or Sucker gonna kill Reggie Lecky. Yeah, Sucker kills Reggie Lecky. Uh, Clef Key might just get parried. This thing's, oh, it's Terrifier, I didn't even see that. Oh, 86, nice. It probably doesn't even one-shot. Uh, unfortunately, that play never wins, right? Unless you, you literally have to be Jesus, again, I'm calling upon Jesus Christ into another game. You have to be Jesus Christ and stall out all of these Sucker Punches with Quiver Dance. Which, at this point, you don't even have to, like, you, you don't even care as as uh, HGC, right? You never one shot Zapdos here. Yeah. Ah, I'm missing Sleep Powder sucks. I don't even know if you stay in as Chi and Pao, do you? Don't you just go Zapdos anyways? No, no, because I just. Because then you go Zapdos on the sleep, you get slept, it gets another quiver as you pivot back out into somebody else. Uh, so it's at plus two now, and it does actually kill everything. So that sleep powder was really tough. You really did that to hit that. So if if you hit sleep powder there and then well no, I mean you're still kind of in the same position, right? Well no, I guess not. No no, no you're not in the same position because like this thing dies now. Okay. Never mind. That sleep powder su miss sucked. And Cuff Key can never beat the last mons. Fifty four is heinous, dude. No way. You should you should not be allowed to do fifty four percent to a Cuff Key like that, bro. That's not even stab. It's not even stab or super effective and you're not banded. This mod shouldn't be allowed to do that, man. Okay, well, Chi and Pao picks up like four kills, so that's crazy. This mod's nuts. Dark Ride didn't even click a move. Neither Feeny didn't even come out. Actually, Dark Ride didn't even come out either. That's crazy. Well, uh, yeah, sounds good to me, man. Uh, I guess we'll hop into the, the next replay. Uh, yeah, GG's over to HGC, proving that Chi and Pao is broken. Yippee!